Hello friends, hello and welcome to Review Maza. Today we are going to look at UV lamps that is ultraviolet germicidal lamps which are used for disinfection of the bacteria which are mostly used in water purifiers, air purifiers. So we'll look how this, water, this ultraviolet lamps works and which are the best ultraviolet lamps available for us. So first we will try to understand that what is a ultraviolet lamp so basically it is a lamp that is used that is used to kill bacteria in water purifiers or air purifiers so the ultraviolet there are three major spectrums of ultraviolet rays and they are divided into three types that is ultraviolet a ultraviolet b and ultraviolet c so they are divided according to their wavelengths means the which the germicidal properties are having in the wavelength of ultraviolet C. So basically when we look at a UV lamp over here, this UV lamp, it is just like a tube light, a normal tube light. But this UV lamp is capable of generating wavelengths that are in between of 200 to 280 nm square. So basically when this ultraviolet lamp generates such a short wavelength, so what happens? It, it destroys the nucleic acid of the bacteria. That, that means that it disturbs their DNA and then leaves them unable to perform any vital cellular functions. Means in short, this when bacteria are exposed to a UV light that is UVC in between the wavelength of 200 to 280 nm the their uh, nucleus or their uh, DNA is totally ruptured that is totally destroyed so they are not able to perform their functions and thus they are inactivated or in sense they are killed or inactivated so a UV lamp is has been used in water purification from since long time this is a very standard UV lamp this is a 11 11 watt UV lamp of Philips company and this is a very good lamp while performance is considered and this is a, uh, this is made in Poland and really very well performing so <coughs> when a uv lamp is considered there are uh, you need a power supply to power it up so uv lamp is uh, connected with the pin connector like this you can connect it in any ways there are no such standard requirements you can connect it one side you have to connect it like this And other side also you can connect it anyways but better is to consider that the polarity is same on the both side you have to connect this and this one I am having is a AC choke there are DC chokes also available in market so you'll have to give supply there is a polarity mentioned over on the sides of the wire so wherever there is a red marking or green marking or blue marking that is supposed to be the positive terminal when there is nothing it's a negative terminal that is so simple i can't show you a uv lamp in on condition because uh, exposure to that uv lamp will cause me trouble also and it may cause uh, i'll i like to tell you friends you should never ever get exposed to a UV lamp not even by while checking because the UV lamp can I mean the exposure to UV light UVC light can cause skin cancer also or retinal cancer or cataract also many different problems can be created so better way you should not uh, get exposed to UV lamp or UV light directly so So to protect the customers, a UV chamber is generally designed. 
in which the UV lamp gets inserted. I'll show you. simply and the connectors and connectors are placed and the connectors are joined this is uh, in and out any side you can put in or out it's no no such standard condition is there it is so simple and friends uh, this casing protects you from any exposure to uv light and it also protects the lamp itself and this is a perfect example of a domestic uv water purifier so friends i'll also like to tell you that in philips and other companies philips is a just uh, it's the best one uv lamp you can get another is uh, manufactured by oshwal oshwal uv lamp is also very good even other companies are there lg is there other wonderful companies are there they are manufacturing but uh, you should be careful not to go for a local lamp like this this is a this is mentioned as toshiba but this is not a original toshiba lamp this is a duplicate uh, made in china or made in somewhere else this is a duplicate lamp and the problem with the duplicate lamps is that they are just lamps they do not generate the germicidal wavelength that is 200 to 280 nm you can just have a look at the lamp and you can just have a look the lamp of a original philips lamp so this can nowhere match the output given by original lamp original lamp i'll tell you the price the original lamp of philips uh, in india it ranges up to 200 rupees only so it's a uvc lamp manufactured by philips and 11 watt perfectly so you should buy a original lamp better get a original lamp rather than getting a duplicate any other local made in china lamp like this friends and this when i got this is not even working also the best way to identify a working uv lamp is that it will give you a blue bluish shade of light i'll do one thing i'll uh, make arrangements of uh, showing a uv lamp to you okay friends let's go this is what a uv light looks like when it's on i'm sorry i'm hiding behind hope you have seen it friends and thank you very much please like my videos my channel please like my channel and i i'll i always try to bring such good videos for you so please subscribe and please share my videos also thank you very much